Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of Skype Talk with your host, Spood Beast. Maple Leafs FTW, or for the win. And, and uh, me, Iron Age Sports. Now, today's topics will have to include, um, I'm going to talk about wrestling for a little bit today, as well as gaming. Um, chat, uh, Iron Edge, what are you going to talk about? Uh, what I always do my best on, and that is your sports updates. Maple Leafs FTW? Um, well, me, um... Uh... Stuff around the tech world and uh, great Christmas presents um, to throw on a Christmas list. Okay, I think I'm going to start, all right? Sounds good. Uh, as many of you know, uh, for wrestling fan-wise, the WWE presented Armageddon last night. Now, pretty big news happened. Um, Jeff Hardy actually won the WWE Championship finally, uh, defeating Edge and Triple H in a fantastic triple threat match. Uh, I got to see the live stream for free, and it was a pr uh, pretty good overall show, and actually was better than Survivor Series last month. Chad, you got any uh, sports news? I've got uh, three games that happened yesterday. Uh, I didn't get to watch any of them because I was pretty busy last night. Uh, Chicago beat uh, Columbus 3-1. Anaheim beat Minnesota 4-2, and Vancouver beat uh, Florida 5-3. Uh, as I said, um, I didn't get to watch any of these games, but news that, that struck me was uh, Sean Avery, Avery will not be rejoining the Buffalo Sabres. Not the Buffalo Sabres, hmm. now start. Cool. And uh, Thomas Vanek is... Um, is a uh, Buffalo Soldier, basically. That's what they're calling them right now. Because uh, Vanek is on a hot streak, and he uh, he's the leading goal scorer, and he's just doing amazing here. Hmm. Right? Um, I'm just going to give you, like, a, a Christmas present idea. Um, but it's uh, not going to last for a while. It's a Planet Earth DVD set. It's Blu-ray edition only, but it's only $34.99 with free shipping. Um, this is regular uh, over $100, and it's $34.99. You can add uh, some GST and PST in there, which it'll come up to about $37, $38. But um, regular, it's $110, and there's free shipping, so... Um, why not miss out on it? It would be great in a high definition to see uh, all those animals and all the plants down there and just the great quality of Blu-ray. Uh, it, it would be an amazing gift um, for uh, whoever you're buying it for. Right. I uh, actually watched that on uh, normal and it was still very good, but I bet you it'd be very good in uh, Blu-ray high def. Yes. Uh, I would also like to talk about uh, um, the YouTube high definition. Um, as you know, they put in widescreen, but they also put in high definition for YouTube. And uh, if you watch um, someone's video with high definition, you'll see the difference. And it's just like great quality of videos. It's better than high quality. It's it's great. <laughs> just give you a taste of high definition. So I guess that swings it back to me then. Yeah. Uh, spoon beef. Spoon beef. Yeah. Um. I just want to talk about one more thing. For uh, sports-wise? Yeah. All right, swing it back to me when you're ready. Um, many of you might not know out in the sports world that, uh, that uh, Melbourne Arena is starting to get old and stuff, and the rice is not being very good. So, um, as I was saying, many of you are probably awaiting the new arrival of the Pittsburgh Penguins new arena, which is a console energy center. Sweet. Um, this was a quote from, uh, I think it was a general manager of, uh, no, it was Brett Harvey. Brett Harvey has said this, uh, and quote, for more than 140 years, console energy has been a part of the tri-state region's history. Sweet. We are proud to help write a new chapter in Pittsburgh history by sponsoring this wonderful new facility. 
Mellon Arena was the place where the Detroit Red Wings won the Stanley Cup. Yet, good luck to Pittsburgh in their new arena, and good luck in the playoffs. Uh, it swings it back to me now. Good beast. All right, as um, I'm, I'm, some, I'm sure you, some of you know that over this past weekend, uh, Spike held its um, 2008 Video Game Awards. Uh, has anyone heard of that? Yes. Yeah, um, I'm just uh, checking out uh, what happened, but I'm pretty sure that um, Grand Theft Auto 4 won um, Best Game of the Year uh, this year, and it did. Best Game of the Year went to Grand Theft Auto 4. You as have the nominations? Um, no, I do not have the nom uh, the uh, nominations, but I was aware that other titles such as A Little Big Planet and uh, even uh, Gears of War 2 were um, were candidates uh, to uh, for this um, Game of the Year award. That's bullcrap. Who would want an LBP? Well, Grand <laughs> well Grand Theft Auto was um, was pretty uh, good with uh, you know pleasing everyone as well. But surprisingly, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl did not get one um, award. I would assume it got Best Fighting Game, but that went actually to Soul Calibur 4. Now, was it nominated for Best Fighting Game? Uh, I'm not sure uh, what the nominations were for Best Fighting Game, but it probably was. Um, and you know what's weird is, um, uh, actually, um, Brawl got uh, better scores from um, reviewers than Soul Calibur 4 did. Uh, Soul Calibur 4, um, yeah, I, I think I've played it once or twice, but, uh, it was just like any other Soul Calibur, um, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of them, because, you know, they keep on repeating the same thing, I have, and, uh, I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the Soul Calibur series, because, you know, I'm a big fighting game, um, yeah. junkie, so... I, I like them. They're all right, and hopefully I'll get uh, get it for the PS3 when I um when me and Chad uh, purchase a PlayStation 3. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Mortal but, Kombat versus DC Universe that had to be nominated. Um yeah, I heard that was good too. I actually want to play that. Um I'm I, I really like Scorpion and Sub Zero. Yeah, I, I want to like the play as the DC characters. Okay, I'm, I'm searching game. for the best fighting game. Uh, nominees. Um, okay, let's see. Do they even have the nominees up for best fighting game? Game of the... Oh, oh here so are the nominees. I found the nominees. Uh, for Game of the Year, which was won by Grand Theft Auto 4, um, other um, nominees were Little Big Planet, Fallout 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, and uh, Gears of War 2. I'm surprised Metal Gear never won either. That was uh, really wildly received. Yeah, that was that was a real, that was a breakthrough game of 2008. I know. Uh, wow. I want to get that too. Other than Little Big Planet, uh, PS3 had a pr uh, an amazing year this year, uh, game wise. I think it did really well this year. As for uh, DC Universe versus um, uh, Mortal Kombat, I actually played that at my uh, cousin Steven, so it's a very good game. Oh, and I'm just getting in uh, the nominees for best fighting game. Um, Soul Calibur 4 did win, but Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe was nominated. Super Smash Bros. Brawl was nominated, as was Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit was also nominated. So Brawl um, and uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC were both nominated, and uh, they were pretty worthy nominations, but I believe that one of those two should have got in over Soul Calibur 4, in uh, my opinion. Yeah, uh, and I'm assuming that um, we didn't do too good this year. We? Yeah, maybe. Well, it didn't get many awards. I don't know if it did last year either. Usually, um, uh, 360 gets a uh, huge load of awards, but um, apparently um, PS3, I think, did better game-wise this year than the 360. I think uh, PS3 finally had its breakthrough year when it comes to um, video games. Yeah, because uh, um, I remember you know, a few years ago when it first came out, like no one would have had it because it was so much money. And it was cl close to eight hundred dollars for a year or two. Not, not to mention that no, there was really no good breakthrough games out for it at the yeah. time. It so was, I, I think it was more of a copy of the three hundred and sixty, and then you know it started getting its own games and a little big planet. That that's that's a. 
a breakthrough. It's be a breakthrough game. Same with Metal Gear. And we are at the 10 minute mark, guys, so I'm going to re record the session and we'll talk about the Video Game Awards in part two, alright? Sounds good. We're wrapping this up.